I started my weight loss journey about three years ago when I was 23 years old and found myself at almost 300 pounds and extremely unhappy and trapped in my own body. I was overweight my entire life and when I was only five years old I was 90 pounds and that's when I was enrolled in my first ever children's boot camp and I started playing every single sport my mom could put me in. Having hypothyroidism made it nearly impossible to lose weight, so eventually my doctor did recommend that I look into getting weight loss surgery. After doing three years of research, I finally decided to start the process and we knew that this could be a really good tool for me because I already had the active lifestyle and dieting down. There's a lot of steps that you gotta do in order to get weight loss surgery, like doing a sleep apnea test, see a dietitian, see a psychologist, so many different labs and lots of blood work. After my midterm today, I'm leaving class early because I have my big consultation with Dr. Billy and I've been doing all these crazy pre-op appointments preparing for this day. He's basically going to give me the green light or the red light. So I'm hoping that everything goes okay. So send your good thoughts and prayers this way and I'll let you guys know how it goes. It looks like I'm going to be getting the gastric bypass, which is the really intense one. But it's going to be really good. I'm really excited and I'll get a surgery date soon. I'm actually getting the surgery today, December 29th, 2017, and that is so crazy and unreal to say. I feel like I've been working so hard for this day, and I'm just so ready for my life to change completely. And just like that, it was surgery day, and I remember having doubts in the beginning, thinking I'm going to be the one person that this surgery doesn't work for. New year, new me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, good care of her, Mom. Okay. This is where I say goodbye. Yep. Love you. Love you too. All right. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Okay. <laughs> New Year's Eve was lit. I spent it recovering in the hospital and I had to go straight to my liquid diet again. Don't you just love a good cup of broth? Our main focus was to get protein in and I cannot tell you how many protein shakes I had. After the liquid diet phase, I was cleared to start eating semi-soft foods, which was great to be able to eat again. Getting used to these portions was definitely one of the hardest parts because it's hard to look down and think that this one ounce meal could actually fill you. So I'm still getting used to these portion controls and everything. Made an egg white with a little cheese and crushed pepper and toasted bread. It was sometimes a little challenging and scary to introduce new foods back into my diet, but they always encouraged us to use things like a cocktail fork to help us slow it down. On top of following my new diet restrictions, I continued my usual workout routine, going to the gym every single day, weight training, cardio, and pretty quickly, I started to notice a lot of changes even with my everyday life. So when I first bought these scrub pants, they were so tight, they barely fit. And now, they are so loose all the way around and behind, and I actually have to use a jawstring. I've never used one of these before, like, what even are these things? So great. The consistency in the gym and with all of my portion control